Salam alaikum. Call hello Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Hot Record Kadus. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to you. I came across the four corners of the globe and preaching this gospel in truth and sincerity. Salam to you, Akim. All right, the most high name is Yahweh, and his son name is Yahweh Sai. The Holy uh, Spirit name is is is, is the Ricard Quidus, and that allows us to break down these scriptures and filter uh, what's going on in the world through these scriptures, right? And this lesson is entitled "Repent Ye, the Kingdom of Heaven is at Hand." All right, Matthew three and two. Well, we can start from one. Matthew three and one. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand okay repent ye alright and let's get into these words you know we gotta break down these words man let's go to uh repent first lock it so repent repent ye Strong's G, 3340, Metanaeo, Metanaeo. To change one's mind, <laughs> hey bro, they don't need to be break down, all right? Take your mindset from this Babylonian mindset into the mindset of a Masiach, all right? All right, i.e. to repent, to change one's mind for better, okay? We, we changed our mindset from this uh, corrupt world that Esau has created into this heavenly celestial mindset of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sai Masiach. You see? All right? And that's beautiful. To change one's mind, biblical uses, to change one's mind, i.e., to repent, to, to change uh, one's mind for the better, uh, heartily to amend with abhorrence of one's past sins. Okay? See? A, a, a repentance, change of mind involves a turning with uh, constriction, contrition from sin to power. The repentance, so like you. Let's read it over again. Repentance, change one's mind involves a turning with um, contrition. From sin to, to, to from sin to the Lord, the repentant sinner is in the pro, the proper condition to accept the divine forgiveness. All right, so you gotta turn back to the Lord, man. All right, you gotta turn back to the Lord. You gotta repent and ask for forgiveness, man. Why? Because we we wrong you. How about seeing our side? We wrong our master. We wrong our father, and we were in the wrong, man. All right, we signed a contract, said we were going to do this and this and that, and we broke it, okay? All right, we broke it. We didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we in this situation, okay? So we need to turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and seek his face ten times more, man, especially when you're coming to this, this, this truth, okay? <clears throat> All right. Baruch, let's go to Baruch. Four, and I believe that's 28, I believe. All right, Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh by Simeon outside, so being returned, seek him ten times more. See, we should be seeking Yahweh by Simeon outside ten times more, man. All right, it's going harder. You can never do enough for your house by seeing your house side, man. All right, and I'm going to go into, uh, let's go into 29. For he that had brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. See, all right, and we need your house by seeing your house side for our salvation, man. All right, and with that, he's coming with everlasting joy. All right, everlasting joy, man. All right, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's go back to the the highlighted text. Okay, 
All right, so you get that, to change one's mind. All right, let's go to strong definition. To think differently or afterward, i.e., reconsider morally, feel uh, compunction, repent. All right, so we think differently, man. All right, the scriptures say in Micah, let me get that, you know, um, Micah. Let's see, Micah 2 and 10. All right, because this place is polluted, man. All right, and it, it, it'll pollute you mentally, okay? All right, if you don't come out of it mentally, you fucking polluted, man. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. Depart from where, man? Depart from your mind. Take your mind out of this society, man. Take any love that you have for this world. Take, take that shit and throw it away. Throw it out the garbage because this world is filthy, man. All right? The ideology is filthy. The physical world is filthy. These people are filthy, man. All right? So take your mind out of this garbage. For this is not your rest, man. We don't have no rest here, man. Okay? The scriptures say that uh, when you put money in, in your pocket, it goes like out like, out, out, like, out, like, like, like holes, man. All right, let's see that. Nahum. I think that was Nahum. No, that's a uh, Haggai. Haggai. One. And eight. just to back myself up. Haggai. Holes and pockets. In it. Okay, six. All right. Bring the scripture out. Haggai, one and six. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earned wages, earned wages to put it into a bag with holes. You see this? Okay, so this ain't your rest, Jake. All right, we're commanded to get out of this beast, man. Depart, man. Renew your mind. All right, let's see it again. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest, because it is polluted. The air is polluted, the water is polluted, the people's mind is polluted. Okay, everything that you see is polluted in Babylon. It shall destroy you, all right, and these people are destroyed. They're dead, man. You can't even talk to a motherfucker because they ain't got nothing to talk about. Okay, this whole, uh, this whole global, Esau's whole reign is destroyed, man, all right? Everything is destroyed. All of these kingdoms are being destroyed, man, rapidly. Okay? All right? It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction, all right? And that's, this, this, hey, if you, if you, uh, you know, entangle yourself in this world, man, you're going to get destroyed with a sore destruction, man. All right? Mentally, physically, all of that. Okay? So this place destroys destroys you, man. All right, but the kingdom of let's go back to the to the uh, main uh, precept. It says Matthew three and two, and saying, "Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." All right, let's look up uh, this uh, at hand. Okay. Strong's G, 1448, Angizo, Angizo. All right, to bring near, to join one thing to another, to draw or come near, man. All right, the, the kingdom of heaven is so close, we can taste it, okay? We can taste it, man. All right, let's go down to the strong uh, definition. And it says, to make near, i.e., approach, approach. Be at hand, come, draw near, be, come, draw, nigh. Hey, the kingdom of hand is imminent, all right? All right, it's imminent, man. We can see it. And how do we know this? How do we know this, okay? Check this out. Actually, 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 actually. All right, let's go to 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra. All right, nine and one. Oh, 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 oh,
man. With all these fucking commercials, man. What's a fucking commercial doing on a fucking... Man, boy, I tell you, we got to get out of here. Second Ezra's 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. How do we measure the time? We, we, see, what's, uh, we see what's going on in the world, all right? And we match them up to the prophecies, man. Okay, we filter them through the prophecies, man. All right, so if we see uh, civil unrest... We go to the scriptures that bring out civil unrest, all right? Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs, all right, pass, which I have told thee before, because your Habar Shimei outside has already told us, okay, what's going to happen in the near future, all right? And let me get that right fast, and we're going to jump back to that, uh, to that, to that, uh, particular uh, verse Matthew chapter 24 and verse <laughs> he can start from 4 man he can roll man alright Matthew 24 and 4 and Yahawasai answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you see Esau went around deceiving the whole fucking world man all right, so you need to thank your heart by seeing our side if you understand this truth, because this is a gift. Verse five: For many shall come in my name, saying, "I am a Masiak," and shall deceive many. Okay, and we see that right now, man. All right, these people got these people are following false gods, man. All right, Buddha, Jehovah, these are uh, uh, fucking false ass gods, man. Caesar Bozier. All right, so, hey, we blessed, man. Verse, verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, okay? So we're not supposed to be troubled when we see World War Three kicking off, which we see that right now, all right? We're not supposed to be troubled when we see famines, which we see that at a minute, small, uh, uh, on a small we see it at a, at a small rate right now. Like, it's not big as it's going to be. All right? It's just the beginning of sorrows, okay? And it's going to tell us that, all right? For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, right? Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation, all right? You're going to have race wars out here, man, all right? Black against white, white against black, so-called black against white, so-called white against black. And kingdoms against kingdom. That's why you got all uh, China beefing with America right now in the South China Sea, man. All right? Because America has gone all over the globe and tried to rape, rob, and pillage everybody. And these, these people are done with it, man. So, yeah, you're going to have kingdoms against kingdoms, man. Russia, uh, China, the EU nations, they all going to shoot missiles on Babylon, man. Okay? And there shall be famines, all right? And pestilence, that fake ass fax machine that they got going on, that ain't nothing to compare to what your how about Shimmy outside is bringing, man. All right, real pestilence, where you people are gonna drop like like flies out here, and earthquakes in diverse places, and there's earthquakes all over the place, man. This is how we know we at the end. All these things is the beginning of sorrows. See, the beginning. All right, hey, we we. <laughs> We had the beginning of sorrows, man. Hey, but the kingdom of the kingdom of Yahweh by Shimei Osai Masiak is at hand, man. Believe that. Hey, hey look. Verse uh, drop down to verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's another token. That's another sign how we know, hey, this this bitch is almost over, man. All right. These people are fucking uh, uh, heartless, man. They heartless, man. They don't have no hearts no more, all right? So guess what? Hey, this bitch, this bitch is almost over with. All right? This bitch is almost over with. Okay? Verse 24. Uh, uh, verse 32, I mean. Matthew 24 and 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it for leaves, yea, Know that summer is nigh, man. 
All right. So likewise, ye, when y'all, when ye sh shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door, man. Okay. All right. Hey, we know that. Hey, hey, these are. Uh, hey, when it goes, when you when you uh, read thirty two, it talk about the branches is tender, man. Meaning it's, it's ready, man. It's ready for the eating. Okay. All right, meaning that Yahweh see outside. When you see all of these signs happening, hey, know that the kingdom is at hand, man. Okay, and putting forth leaves, you know that the summer, you know that summer is nigh, man. All right, so so when we see all these signs, man, all the signs that were uh, in verse six, seven, okay, hey. We know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, and that's beautiful, man. All right, everything is working, and uh, and and everything is working to usher in your house by some your house side, man. Okay, so let's go back to a second. It was nine. All right, so we see the signs. All right, and this is allowing us to understand that a. Hey, yeah, how about seeing our size is, is 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 in route, man? All right, get your house in order. Second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made man all right so we see these signs happening man and we know that Yahweh seen me outside is about to visit this world that's why you got an uptick of cherish sightings okay all right you can't even hide it no more the pentagon had to let the let the uh let the news loose man why because you ain't you is unavoidable verse three therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, all right, and we see that right now, man. I could just type in something simple, man, and uh, you'll see uh, uh, uproars of the people. Let's see. I'm going to just do a little quick search just to show you, man. Hey, this is the end. This is the end, man. Uh uproars <laughs> I'm gonna put uproars of the people hey we in some beautiful times uh brothers beautiful beautiful times man we actually get to see the witness we get to get the witness the downfall of Babylon See what we got going on. We're gonna we're gonna uh let's just see in the last hour what they had going on. Okay, let's just filter it to the, the today. Alright, let's see. See what they got going on. Okay. Let's do a week. Just to give you a little depiction. Hey man, it's getting ugly out here, man. Okay. All right, you had civil unrest in Las Vegas. Okay, rides in the Netherlands. Let's look at this. Let's see what's popping on in the Netherlands. Hey, brother, sit down. Police in the Netherlands arrested at least 70 people on Monday after riots broke out across the country for a third night in a row. 
In Rotterdam, anti-lockdown demonstrators started fires and clashed with police in protest of a new nighttime curfew. There were similar scenes in Amsterdam, as well as the smaller centres of Harlem, Gillian and Den Bosch. The 9pm to 4.30am curfew came into force on Saturday evening to curb the spread of coronavirus. It's the country's first nationwide curfew since World War II. Many... All right, so in Oregon, you got National Guards activated. This was four weeks ago. All right, Utah, National Guards. Uh, Oregon. Okay, Dutch. <laughs> Netherlands. You see that? Inauguration. Anti-lockdown rioters class with Dutch police. National Guard members deployed to Rayla. You know? Hey man, they got a lot of uh hey hey this place is is, is burning down. Look at this man. Netherlands. All right, but that's the point, man. Hey, kingdom of Heaven, kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, and we see, we know it because we see all of the signs. All right. Let's just read this last verse, verse four, Second Ezra nine and four. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that war before thee. Even from the beginning, man. All right. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, man. And it's obvious, it's clear that we're at the end, man. All right. It's clear that the heaven, uh, that that uh, uh, heaven is at, at hand, man. All right. It's clear, man. This is clear clear cut all right and with that i hope this was edifying to the whole free elect i like to say call her law yahweh by hashem yahweh sai by hashem harikar kadus salawam man repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand